Hi, my name is Linda Bloom and I am the chair and founder of the Overcoming MS charity. We are now in our 10th year of empowering the MS community through healthy lifestyle choices, creating a world in which living a full and healthy life with MS is possible. In this special series, 10 Minutes with George, Living Well with MS host, Jeff Alex, speaks with Professor George Jelinek, founder of the Overcoming MS program. You'll hear about the origins of the evidence-based program, tips on changing your life for life, and about the future of overcoming MS. We really hope you enjoy the episode. Welcome back to the third edition of 10 Minutes with George. Welcome, George Jelinek. Thanks, Jeff. Um, so to start off with today, um, there's a few words that come up and these get mentioned sometimes in the OMS program. Um, so the words recovery and overcoming mean different things to different people. So could you start by talking us through your decision to move from taking control of MS, the first phrase you use, to re- a recovery program and the terms overcoming as well? What do they mean to you? Yeah, look, that is a really good question, and I know um, it it tends to um, sometimes concern people that we use the word recovery in relation to um, what everyone describes as a, an incurable progressive disease. But um, I guess in some ways the the change in that emphasis reflected my own journey through the program. So. Um, I have to say when I first came across all the science that I came across and started putting it together into the program, my goal really was to slow down the deterioration, to to get a sense of control over that process. And taking control seemed a perfectly apt thing, um, a perfectly apt term for that. and then within, I think, three years of diagnosis, I started running the retreats. And I had a couple of very good mentors uh, in that process who I'm forever grateful to. But um, as I ran more of the retreats and started to see the changes that were happening in people over the course of that week and, and the changes I was getting, I mean, one thing I've, I've been very grateful for is that I've run probably 60 retreats in my life and most people have only been to one or two, uh, sometimes three. So I've had that sort of incremental benefit of all those experiences amplified through frequent um, exposure. It, it, my own health started to to more than stabilise. And that was a surprise to me uh, in that I started to, to not only not deteriorate, but I started to feel better than I did before. Uh, and I actually remember very well the, the conversation with my publisher when um, I moved from taking control to the new book, to the Overcoming MS book in 2010. And she said, well, it sounds like you want to change the title from taking control. And I changed publishers to get there, so she wanted something new. And she said, what about coping with MS? And I just thought, no, no, that doesn't just, uh, it just doesn't reflect anything like what I'm going through. So what about managing MS? Well, again, that's sort of just keeping your head above water kind of idea, um, but still drowning, if you you know what I mean. Um, And I just sort of blurted out overcoming MS seems more appropriate to me because that really reflected what it felt like in my life, that that I was starting to actually get better. better than I had been before I was diagnosed. And that, that sort of led on to that whole notion of recovery, um, that while we know it's an incurable illness, we know there's no cure, we don't offer a cure, um, for people who, who rigorously adhere to this program, who really change their lives, isn't it reasonable to sort of talk about the notion of recovery? I mean, we talk about recovery from heart disease or from a number of other chronic um, Western diseases like MS, um, why wouldn't we use it for MS, even though it still depends on living a very healthy life and and following all the the best advice on 
how to eat and how to exercise and so on. So um, I sort of, I coined the term recovery really almost deliberately on the cover of that, that book, the evidence-based recovery program, um, to challenge that notion in a sense that deterioration was inevitable. Um, while recovery is not going to be the outcome everyone gets, deterioration needn't be the outcome everyone gets either as they have in the past. Um, that it's possible actually to not only live well, to be healthy, but to be better than you were before you were diagnosed in terms of your health. And that's where I've ended up. So would you say that you're, you've recovered from MS or you're in recovery? I try, I try to use the word, the verb, like I do in the books, you know, overcoming MS, recovering from MS, other titles, and I'd say I'm recovering from MS. Um, it, it's a process, not an outcome, in my view. We're not looking for a final destination. I mean, it's, uh, in life, the only final destination is death. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to get somewhere. It's the process of how I'm living every day that constitutes um, recovering from MS. And that element, I guess, that you you can't stop. You you haven't like you haven't taken a tablet that's cured you, and then you can go back to how you were twenty years ago. You're saying, well, this, I'm still on the process, and if I if I stop, then equally your condition could that's get right. worse. That's right. And would I want to go back to where I was twenty years ago? Uh, I don't think I would. And how is the reality of overcoming MS different for different people? Uh, look, I think people can choose the terms that best suit their own um, lives and their own journeys. Um, for some, that will overcoming will seem like a, a perfect fit. For some, recovering will. For some, taking control will. And, and still for others, there, there may be a sense that um, that stabilising things is, is the way they'd like to frame it. Um, I try not to be too prescriptive around those terms. Um, that it's everyone's journey is different, and everyone has the um, can choose whatever that however they want to describe it to uh, to their family and friends and wider circle. Yeah, I mean, I think the key thing is you're you're not a, a snake oil salesman who's uh, promoting a miracle cure. You're this is well, cure has never been part of this. Um, you know, it would be ridiculous to say that that living a really healthy life like this cures MS, um, because I know if if I was to return to my um, former bad habits, that there was a, there'd be every chance that that I'd get a flare up of some sort. So. Um, I think I'm grateful to have discovered what I did, to have applied it in my own life, to see a lot of other people applying it in their lives. But um, it's it's a process still. Um, living well is a process. Recovering's a process. Overcoming's a process. And that that um, is a really good way to live life. I just really enjoy living life like this. It's so much more satisfying and, in fact, more interesting than it was when I was living a sort of conventional uh, way, uh, very stressed and you know, eating very bad food and um, rushing around the way I was. Thank you for that. And thanks for joining us on the latest edition of 10 Minutes with George. Thanks, Jeff.